good morning students this is our second part explanation of chapter number 1 let's continue our chapter page number 7 main parts of a computer a computer has the following four main parts that help in performing the ipo cycle first part is monitor a monitor looks like a television screen it display the work that we do on a computer it also displays the movement of the mouse pointer on the screen a monitor is also known as vdu that is virtual display unit the information that we see on a monitor is called soft copy there are three different types of monitors first is crt that is cathode ray tube second liquid crystal display that is lcd and third is led that is light emitting die let's see the explanation of this paragraph what do we do on a computer like typing playing games or playing audio or video files movement of mouse pointer or getting any output it is all displayed on this computer's monitor screen all such information that is displayed on monitor is called soft copy it looks like tv screen monitors is also known as vdu that is virtual display unit it has three different types of monitor let's read the first type that is crt full form is cathode ray tube monitor crt monitors contain a vacuum tube and are bigger in size and consume more power that means these monitor uses more electricity to work as they uses vacuum tube which makes them big in size second is lcd lcd stands for liquid crystal display monitor lcd monitor has flat type of screen it consume less power these are flat screen monitors looks exactly same as lcd tv and uses less electricity to work in comparison to crt monitors third is LED that is light emitting diode monitors these monitors have better display these are thinner and lighter in weight LED monitors uses 40% less power than LCDs and last longer these are the most commonly used monitors today these monitors are more efficient than the other two monitors that is CRT and LCD LED monitors are durable have greater picture quality and uses less electricity LED uses 40% less electricity than LCD to work these monitors are much thinner and lighter and lighter in weight than the other monitors these monitors are nowadays very popularly in use next is central processing unit that is cpu let's read it it is the brain of a computer that processes all the instructions given to the computer it solves all calculations and displays the results on the monitor it also stores a lot of the information a cpu is made up of three parts they are mu cu and alu This paragraph tells us that CPU is the main part of the computer and all the other parts of the computer like monitor mouse keyboard etc all are connected to CPU by wires actual processing is done in this unit that's why CPU is also termed as brain of computer as in human body whatever we do is the result to the signal we received by our brain we can store things in our memory 
and whenever needed we can get that stored information like human brain cpu also perform some functions they are as follows first processes instructions and display results on the monitor second saves information third manages all the software and hardware devices of the computer cpu has three part which perform these three functionalities let's read the memory unit memory unit in this unit we can store data and instructions which are to be processed and are then passed to on to alu or cu first we store all the files or instructions temporarily on the memory unit for making calculations later when needed these temporarily stored data are moved in aalu or cu for further processing the final output can be stored in any permanent storage device like pen drive hard disk etc next is c u that is control unit the control unit works like the traffic policeman it controls and manage the working of all the parts of a computer control unit manages all the operations of a computer and all the software and the hardware devices of the peripheral devices of the computer system it also controls and manage the flow of data or instructions in different units third is alu that is arithmetic and logical unit this unit performs all arithmetic calculations like addition subtraction multiplication and division it also performs logical operation like finding the greater number smaller number greater than or equal to and less than or equal to or equal to and not equal to numbers that means all the arithmetic and logical calculation is done over here in the alu unit on the instruction passed by the memory unit next topic is keyboard a keyboard is used to type data and instructions into the computer the commonly used keyboard has 104 keys which can be divided into many group based on their functions keyboard is an input device through which we can enter data to our computer keyboard is also known as qwerty keyboard a standard keyboard has 104 keys on it and all these 104 keys are further classified into five groups the five types of keys are typing key that is alphanumeric key control keys function keys navigation keys and numeric keypad okay this is for now next week we will see all the types of keys in detail thank you